Hello, my good friends. You're welcome again to the continuation of our video on how to do electrical house wire. All right, so in the previous video, I laid the foundation of how to begin your proper electrical house wire. And so this is the continuation of that video. And in this video, we will end by looking at how to wire the imperial circuits in the system or in the house. Okay. So, in the first video I did, I made mention that before you start your wiring, there are certain things you have to do to be able to get the whole thing properly done. And I said that you first of all have to know the items that you will need in the wiring. And that will depend on what the client wants or how you want to operate your lights and then how many lights you want in the wiring and how you want to switch those lights. Then, other things like sockets, bells, fans, you have to consider all those things. After that, then you will prepare a list of all the materials that you are going to use in the wire. Okay. And, uh, and, uh, I have another video that talks only about the correct names of the various materials that are used in electrical house wiring. And so as I go on, if there is any new thing I have to mention, I'll mention them to you. All right. So now the list you have prepared will now guide you to do the laying of the trunking. Because at that time, you would have known where to place each of the items you have listed on your list. So on our list, as I mentioned in the first video, we are going to consider a simple wiring. And then as we progress, we'll be adding more things to make it a little bit complex. But to start with, as I said in the previous video, we are considering wiring a small house that comprises of a porch, a sitting area and then a room. All right, so this is what we want to do. We want to place one lamp at the open veranda and then that lamp will be controlled by its own switch. Then when you get to the sitting area, we also have one lamp that is controlled by its own switch. And then in the bedroom also, we have another lamp that is controlled by its own switch. And at the porch, we have one double socket. In the sitting area, we have another double socket. And then in the room also, we have another double socket. So this is an example of a very simple wiring in a one-room facility. Okay. There is another box here, and this box, in that small house, the owner wants to use an electric bell so that if anyone comes to the door, the person can press the bell to call the attention of the one inside door. So in this simple wiring, we are going to have one, two, three lamps. We are going to have one, two, three switches with one bell switch. And then we are going to have one, two, three swing sockets. The other thing that is very important to consider is the consumer unit or the breaker box. And the selection of the breaker box is based on what you have in the wiring and how you want to control them. Good. The first thing you must take note of is that in this circuit, we basically have sockets and then lights. So we can group this whole circuit into a lighting circuit and then a power circuit. Okay. So we are going to separate the lighting circuit from the power circuit. So for this particular wiring, the minimum number of breakers we can use should be two breakers with different ratings so that we can use a smaller rating for the lighting circuit and then we use the higher rating for the power circuit but then 
That is not the only consideration. In the worry, will there be the need for extension in future? If the answer is yes, then you must also make provision for that future extension. So, as I said earlier, this is just the beginning of a series of videos I'll be bringing out. For now, we have only one light in the porch, one light in the sitting area, and then one light in the room with one socket each. Later, I'll be adding other things like the air conditioner switch, the water heater switch, a photo cell that will control an outside light, and then I'll be adding more circuits and then a cooker control unit. Okay, so because of the intention of our wiring, I'm going to use a bigger consumer unit that can house more briquettes. So for now, though we will be needing about three or two briquettes for only this wiring. Because of the future expansion, we we'll have to make provision for a bigger consumer unit so that later we can easily do the extension and then easily get briquettes for protection. Alright, so looking at this wiring, we'll be using this box for now and then if there need be in future where we may be doing three things, then we'll bring back this one. This is actually a three-phase consumer unit and this is single phase. Because of our need, we will have to use this one for now. Alright, so for this wiring, these are the materials that I'll be using uh, for now and for the future expansion. Alright, so I have some relevant videos that I have shared under this one. In one of them, you will see names of electrical wiring materials. So, in that video, I named most of these materials in that video. You can look for it and watch to get the correct names of the materials that we use in electrical house wiring. Okay, so this is 1.5 millimeter squared for our lighting circuit. And then this is 2.5 millimeter squared that we'll be using for the power circuit. All right, so in short, I have a lot of videos already that explain the sizes of cables you can use for your lighting, your fan. You can also find that video at the bottom of this one and then some other relevant videos. So if you want to assess those videos, um, just as you are watching this video, just look below it, go down, you see the title, you see a part of the description of the video and then you click on more. So more will let you see all the videos I have shared under this one. There are a few tools that I will need during the wiring. For now, uh, basically these are the few tools I will need for now. This is a hacksaw blade, this is a combination plier, this is a wire stripper, and this is a screwdriver. Okay, so we'll be using this consumer unit, and then we continue with the wiring. Good. So now we have all our accessories fixed, and so we can begin with the wiring. All right. So we are starting with the wiring of the power circuit. That is the sockets in the wiring. So we we'll do the wiring for the sockets, and then we'll move on to wire the lighting circuit. Good. Before I start the wiring, there is one important thing that you have to know and consider when doing your electrical wire and that is the colors of the various cables that you use is very important 
It helps for easy identification of the wires in the wiring for easy maintenance. Good. So, I am going to use three different colors for wiring the sockets. And then I will use two different colors for wiring the lighting circuit. And the colors I'm using for the sockets, I have red. That would be for light. In America, um, you call it hot. Then I have black. That will be used for all the neutral lines. And then yellow and green for air. I must say this before I continue. In wiring, especially the power circuit, this cable is very important and it must not be left out anytime you are doing your circuit wire. Okay, so I will start with the wiring of the socket and then we move on to the wiring of the lighting system. Now, the particular set of colors you choose for your wiring depends on the recommendation of the electrical code that you use in your area. The colors you have to use must comply with the color code requirements in your area or in your country where you are doing the work. And uh, actually, if you want to know the correct color code to use for doing electrical wiring, I have a comprehensive video on the various color codes that you have to use in various countries. So in that video, I showed the color code to be used depending on your jurisdiction. I have also shared that video under this very one. You can assess it and then know the color code that is supposed to be used in your area. All right, so I will start from the last socket here. Then it goes like this. Good. All right, so in order not to make this video too long, I will end this part here and then show the full wiring in the next video. Otherwise, this video is going to be very long. And because this project is going to be in sections and in series, I wouldn't want to keep one session too long. And so please, let's end here and then continue in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay connected and expect the next video.